Hey guys, welcome back to Day Day 2K GM Mode. This week on Monday Night Raw, we are kicking it off with a, another addition to the Kurt Hawkins Face the Facts Challenge. This week, Kurt Hawkins will be taking on Adam Cole, accompanied by the rest of the Undisputed Era, Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish, and Roderick Strong. Now, Kurt Hawkins has been having a tough time with this challenge lately, even getting injured by The Undertaker a couple of weeks ago, and he was fighting to make sure that the same thing didn't happen this week. However, Adam Cole is going to be a very tough opponent for Kurt Hawkins to put away, but Kurt Hawkins would have an advantage as it would appear that The Undisputed Era was having a bit of a disagreement with Kyla O'Reilly throwing Bobby Fish into the ring. This would cause Adam Cole to be knocked off of his game in confusion, and Kurt Hawkins would attempt to take advantage of this confusion. Adam Cole would attempt to hit a last shot, however, Kurt Hawkins would be able to counter it and hit a Michinoku driver. This Michinoku driver would manage to put Adam Cole away for the three count. And with that, Kurt Hawkins has managed to pick up a victory in the Kurt Hawkins Face the Facts Challenge, therefore earning himself a title opportunity against AJ Styles next week on Raw. Will Kurt Hawkins be able to win the Day Day World Heavyweight Championship, or will he fall to the phenomenal one? Up next we have Raw Women's Championship Tournament action as Lacey Evans takes on Alexa Bliss in his semifinals action. Both of these women would be attempting to move on to the finals of the tournament to face Chelsea Green. And the match would start off technical with Little Miss Bliss seemingly gaining the advantage early on. However, Lacey's power would be a little difficult for Alexa Bliss to manage, however she would attempt to do so by using her agility. Bliss would manage to hit insult to injury, but Lacey Evans would be able to hit a dude buster, and then a moonsault to follow it up, however it would not be enough to put Alexa Bliss away and the match would continue, leading to Alexa hitting an DDT on the apron. This would not put Lacey Evans away, who would eventually recover and hit a vicious women's right. But the women's right would result in a two count, and the match would continue. With Lacey's frustration clearly growing after Alexa Bliss managed to kick out of two women's rights, she would end up falling into a small package. However, it would only result in a two count and Lacey Evans would be able to recover and hit another dude buster. This dude buster would manage to put Alexa Bliss away for the three count. And with that, we have our finalists for the Raw Women's Championship number one contendership tournament, as Lacey Evans will take on Chelsea Green. Which of these two women will earn an opportunity against Ronda Rousey? Up next, we have a little teaser for TLC with EC3. 
accompanied by Drake Maverick, taking on member of the Golden Aces, Lightning Kendrick. Now both of these men will be facing each other in a six-man ladder match to earn a shot in the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. Kendrick would be hoping to make a standout performance this week against EC3, however EC3's strength would be difficult for the much smaller Luchador to handle. Lightning Kendrick would eventually be distracted by Drake Maverick, and EC3 would quickly attempt to take advantage, rolling Lightning Kendrick up into a small package before hitting a one percenter. But Kendrick would kick out at two, showing amazing resiliency before hitting a thunderstruck facebreaker. This also would result in a two count. EC3 would manage to gain control of the matchup once more before hitting a STO. And this STO would result in a three count for EC3. And with that victory, EC3 has managed to gain a bit of momentum as we head towards TLC. Will EC3 be able to earn a spot in the men's Money in the Bank match? Before you can find that out, we move on to Batista, who comes out with a stern warning for the Golden Aces. But he states, one of your members defeated me, handed me my first loss. Now, I'm going to make up for it. So I suggest that each and every one of you aces keep your head on a swivel, because I'm coming for you. Now we move on to our next matchup of the evening, as Finn Balor, the leader of the club, will take on Eddie Guerrero in another TLC preview. Much like EC3 and Lightning Kendrick, both of these men will be entering the six-man ladder match to try and earn a spot in the men's Money in the Bank match. Now both men would attempt to gain momentum in this matchup and perhaps a victory ahead of TLC. And Balor, who has had a bit of tough luck on Raw as of late, would desperately attempt to pick up a victory against Eddie Guerrero. However, the veteran Eddie Guerrero would be difficult for Finn Balor to handle. After a bit of ballroom dancing, Finn Balor would be able to hit a detonation kick. However, Eddie Guerrero would quickly recover and the match would tumble to the outside. Eddie would then hit a devastating brain buster before locking in the lasso from El Paso, and with that end, Finn Balor would be forced to tap out. And with that victory, Eddie Guerrero has earned himself a bit of momentum heading into TLC as well. 
Will Eddie Guerrero be able to defeat the likes of EC3, Finn Balor, Lightning Kendrick, and a few others to earn a spot in the men's Money in the Bank ladder match? Up next, we have our first featured matchup of the evening and cruiserweight action as Buddy Murphy takes on Isaiah Swerve Scott. Will Murphy be able to gain a bit of momentum as we move into the Raw Cruiserweight division, or will Isaiah prove this is his house? Gentlemen, get ready for WWE's best kept secret to make his presence known tonight. I'd say it's no longer a secret that Buddy Murphy is one of the most explosive superstars in WWE today. Guys, the reaction these superstars just received from this vanilla crowd is almost indescribable. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. This is a tough spot to find yourself in, that's for sure. Shoulders on the mat. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. We're going to take more than that. Oh, and that well scouted. Blow. Gets him with a counter. Great agility there. Oh man, right on the mark. So good night. What's he gonna do with it? Just breaking down the opponent. Plenty of fight left. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. Evading possible disaster there. Not safe yet. Nick. Plenty of fight left. He is not going to go down without a fight, Michael. Throughout his career in WWE, Buddy Murphy has been known as the juggernaut and the unstoppable. I argue nicknames like that should tell you everything you need to know about what this young man is capable of in the ring, don't you think? Agreed, but I would also say that they just barely scratch the surface when it comes to letting the WWE Universe know just how talented this superstar is and how he's willing to do anything to win, even if it takes underhanded tactics. When Monday Night Raw comes to your town, do us a favor. Make sure you show up to be a part of the longest-running weekly episodic television show in history. Oh, what impact. You two made good points about Buddy Murphy's nicknames in WWE, but you're forgetting the major one, the best kept secret. Despite having some of the most brilliant performances we've seen in WWE, Murphy hasn't been shown his due respect. And Saxton, you're a prime example of your inaccurate statement about Buddy Murphy being an underhanded competitor. A barrage of strikes. Endless. Oh, Got him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Showing a lot of fury with these attacks. Nothing is going to stop him now. Two! 
Oh, what a knee lift. He's finding himself in trouble here. He can't recover from a beating like this. And with that victory, Isaiah Swerve Scott has managed to pick up some momentum in the Raw Cruiserweight division. With his eyes surely set on the new Cruiserweight Championship, what lies ahead for Isaiah Swerve Scott? Up next, we have tag team action as The Revival takes on Matt Riddle and Pete Dunne of the Bruiserweights once more, this time in a steel cage. If the Revival can defeat the Bruiserweights, they will earn themselves a Raw Tag Team Championship opportunity. More than ready to get going here. And you can't ignore Matt Riddle, such an impressive and talented superstar who uses his MMA background to its fullest and most intense potential when he's in the ring. Riddle's got talent for days, and he'll obviously show that tonight, but that doesn't change the fact that he used the word bro like a piece of punctuation. I mean, it's not the way. Side Russian leg sweep. A quick reversal by Scott Dawson. Knife edge shot echoing through the arena. Uh, right across the top row. It'll grind the features right off your face. He's lost some of his win now. Oh, he knew that was coming. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Face first with a waistlock takedown. Oof. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, nasty impact. Stomping away. Oh, look at this. Oh, neck breaker. Picture perfect. Here we go. He's made it to the top of the cage. Can he finish? Almost there. Scott Dawson is a force within the ring. Swing that leg over and end it. Harsh impact. Boom. Boom, what impact. 
That's got to be a good cardio workout, though. Ooh, what impact. A quick reversal by Scott Dawson. Let's go. Byron's got to use the potty. Oh, nasty impact. Ooh. How can Scott Dawson be put on the offensive quickly here? He's going high, looking for an advantage. Scott Dawson is a force within the ring. Oh! Boom! <laughs> and it's Pete Dunne answering back. And now he's made it all the way to the top of this steel cage. Go, go, go! Harsh impact! Boom! <laughs> Ooh, what impact! A quick reversal by Scott Dawson. What will he do now that he's made it to the top? This might be it. Almost there! This is some good offense by Scott Dawson. With the damage sustained by Dunn, he could be on his way out! This is all but over. The Bruiserweight is going to have a tough time punching his way back into this. What a great win in such a unique style matchup. And with that victory, the Revival have rightfully earned their shot at the Raw Tag Team Championships. This means that they will be joining Seafood and the Broserweights in a triple threat tag team match for the titles at TLC. Up next, we move on to women's tag team action as Rhea Ripley teams up with Paige to take on Amber Winters and Naomi in another preview for TLC. Which of these two teams will gain a bit of momentum as we head towards TLC, where these four women will collide in a six-woman ladder match? Well, let's find out. Everyone's ready, and just like that, this tag team match is underway. Then you have the mosh pit kid, Rhea Ripley, prepped and ready to steamroll her way through the entire women's locker room. Yeah, and she'd do it with a smirk on her face. <laughs> Absolutely, Byron. That's the only way to do it. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Beautiful suplex. Uh-oh. So much damage to the neck. Uh-oh! Dark Matter! That was as bad as Saxton's finisher. Beautiful takedown into the knee bar. She's got her where she wants her. She does break out of it, but has the damage been done? Hoping to make a tag here. And it sounds like there are a lot of people here tonight hoping for the exact same thing. Almost there! So close, so close! Keep going! Come on! It still seems a little early. Brutality! Tagged in. Big 
big move coming. Suplex. Plenty of hits coming her way now. The good news is that if it gets too out of control, she has her partner she can tag in while she catches her breath in the corner. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Not sure what made her think now was a good time for a pin attempt. She's in control. Oh, what a combo! And that's the tag to Naomi. DDT. Page just barely gets out of the way. Oh man, right at the point of the elbow. Look at this. Boom. Nice. In off the tag. Axe handle finds its target. What's gonna happen now? Ooh. Naomi is starting to look a little uneasy. I really like the resolve we've seen from her in this tag team match, guys. Though, I wouldn't be against the tag here. You know, just so she can gather herself a bit. And Naomi manages to reverse out of the corner. Comes in off the tag. With a cover now. Oh man, they don't even seem hurt after that. Not yet. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. To the midsection, hooked up. Here it comes. Really needs to get to the corner and make a tag. Otherwise, this match may be over sooner than later. take down into the knee bar this might be it and there's the save she's got the shoulders down and another kick out she's more durable than she looks guys and she goes for the arm drag and that's the tag to naomi Oh, <laughs> rapid fire. She's got her. Boom, did you hear the impact? Absolutely has to make a tag here. Yeah, but that's easier said than done, Michael. She's almost there. Just a bit more. And I have never seen her partner more amped up than she is right now, Cole. There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. With a page turner. What should Naomi's mindset be at this point? She's, is that enough for the win? One, two, three. They got it. And with that victory, Rhea Ripley and Paige have managed to earn momentum heading into TLC. Will one of these two women walk out of the ladder match with a spot in the women's money in the bank ladder match well before we can find that out this week's edition of monday night raw comes to a close if you like what you saw hit that like button if you are new here and you want to see more day day 2k gm mode hit that subscribe button uh nxt week 7 will be coming out tomorrow so like i said hit that subscribe button if you want to follow me on any of my other social media, Instagram, Twitter, if you want to follow my Twitch account or join my subreddit, links are all in the description below. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys later.